Hello everyone, welcome back to cross stitching with Natalia. We're gonna have today we're working on puppies, and here's the second puppy. So I really want to make one puppy, and I mix with all those diamond paintings because I want to see the way one will look. That's gonna be very similar to one gonna look the other one. But I want to show you something that I found in the store. A little new toy that kinda I can use it for cross stitching as well. Let me show you. Here is my new toy that I wanted to show you. I purchased this one. Well, first of all, I wanted this for a very, very long time to order from AliExpress. Uh, I couldn't find before, and I know it would be probably much cheaper on AliExpress, but they have this lighters. Uh, what's it called? Technical lighter, flameless igniting lighter so if you look in the picture in here you can light a candle with it and in here it says no fluid no flame wind and water resistant no battery needed USB chargeable and I wanted this particularly for I'm gonna show you for what for cotton fishing line if you are doing I, I tear apart already I pull out so we don't fight on camera because this packet is usually hard to open and here's this tool it's a little like it's compared to my hand has a USB charger and you can plug it into your gadget or to your computer or chargeable battery pack um, now, <coughs> excuse me, you can, let me get you close, when you charge this, go like a nicely lights in here, maybe we can see now when we open, so there is a, a lid in here you pull out, looks like this, and then you push this forward to open, and then here is the uh, button on and off, and let's see if we can see maybe on something dark. How about against my cell phone screen kind of dark. So maybe we will see it if I push. See that? So what I wanted for is, I have to hear a little bit example to show you this is the fishing line that I have and by making a, like a jewelry design or something and when you cut with scissors uh, it just I see lots of suggestions that this tool work better if you burn the fishing line they will end up with this little kind of like a tiny melted bubbles on each side so your project will not untangle as fast if you would cut like a regular um well let, let's see let's test it out so i'm gonna put on you see the light i call it zapper i'm gonna try to cut and see what's gonna see how fast and easy that went and i'm gonna show you if it's possible to show you if I can go very close, okay, let me zoom out, oh, zoom out and then bring it to camera. Maybe we will see fish in line that created a little kind of like a tiny bubble on the end. And that's what I'm talking about, how it's cut thread. So I thought, let me try and see if this will be good to cut threads for cross stitching so I'm gonna get this wires away and I purchased mine in giant tiger store if you have a giant tiger in your area check it out have a this size this one is five dollars and was a uh, twice longer which is good for probably fireplace to zap a fire I don't know but be careful, don't burn yourself. So I'm gonna grab my cross stitching 
and I left in here thread and I will try to zap that thread see what's gonna happen will I burn my cross stitching oh my god okay finger crossed ready I'm gonna start Ooh, went like butter okay so did not catch flame but also I feel those burning ends a little bit so they kind of like melted and by the way I I heard somewhere um, tip very good tip real or DMC or like um have to check if you have a real uh, cotton uh, threads or you have a static um, no how you call this um, ah help me with my words or you have a natural threads or you have a, like a silk in it and it's not like uh, thick DMC's I don't know if it's melt that it's not real so this one is milk I feel like it's melting so obviously that's why be, maybe they shiny because they have um, mix in those threads but I do like how they li layer together so maybe that's why um, they look so good uh, but definitely it's melting so it's not like a real real um, stuff I forgot my word sorry <laughs> sorry okay so um, I like the way it's work on a threads in multi which mean it will be better secured in here and then it's really safe also because if I uh, push this down then you cannot accidentally push and you're not gonna create fire plus we have a, a closure in here let me pull out my bar just to show you I always bring my pack with me to camping. Um, I bought this huge one in Ukraine two years ago when I went back home, but it's definitely made in China probably. So if I put this in here, it's to the side. If you are interested to buy one of this and you don't have a giant tiger, I will find it for you on Aliexpress because I wanted this for a while because I really like how girls using this on um, on a fishing line. Okay, let's plug it in and hopefully I still have a juice in it. Okay, it's lighten up here and yes, you can see the one it started to charge so I really like that this one has a USB cord and not the battery finally no battery everything you buy in it's battery battery a sick and tired you know wasting money on a battery actually I'm just gonna now I'm gonna recharge this one just plug it into my computer so I can recharge my battery pack as well so this is a good choice and a uh, hold energy for a very long time if I find the same one on Aliexpress I will link it up for you maybe on Amazon uh, really good for the road trips whatever to keep your battery charged longer for whatever you're doing okay so by the magic I already stitched some more because now it's morning and I started record this video at night and all of a sudden my husband show up with some chicken wings we deliver we decided to have a chicken wings so we didn't have a time anymore for a quiet piece with you to cross stitch but I cross stitch in here till 2 o'clock no 1 30 in the morning how crazy is that and I just wasn't sleepy I was sipping my coffee still and wasn't sleepy so I finish almost here a little bit piece I did not 
had enough of thread to finish this tiny piece so I will finish in here when I readjust my um, uh, round support and start like in here somewhere then I will finish up there but I did a whole bunch of uh, this dark colors outlining start to see puppy face and eye and I did some I think with two colors now I'm working yeah I did start it from here because it was like a light pink color see like in here darker pink and lighter pink so that's what I'm gonna work right now is that the thread I got it today or 14 oh no we're gonna work on 14 which is brown colors all right so let's stitch together I'm gonna put camera to better position for you and we will do some magic oh wait a minute before I readjust my camera I went to one of those funky stores and I purchased few things that I want to show you so this one looks like never will open it's adhesive or collection adhesive um, cold adhesive I guess this one not the hot vinyl so uh, I purchased this one is was for two dollars and it's glittery one where is sparkle on the sun especially this one this one looks like plastic top is gone but um, I don't know maybe this one use maybe it's new one as well because it looks like nobody cut so it's probably new too and on the sun this one sparkling so much I love it for two dollars I believe they are from Michael store because I see lots of recollection in a Michael store so this is my purchase two and two dollars I thought was okay price and yeah you just cut whatever you want to cut and unstick and put some stickers wherever you want um, I like to actually use die cuts to cut this kind of vinyl um, well it's not really vinyl well some kind of sticky sheets glittery so I purchased two of this um, it's finally one more store open doors after the virus but I did not find much stuff but also I found this one for only one dollar each so this one like totally brand new one because um, it's a full piece this one I couldn't like I saw that it's like you know it's cut piece so it's not fully piece it's chopped so somebody used a little bit and just decide to quit uh, but they are both for a dollar so I think this one says already chopped should be like 50 cents don't you think but the magic thing about this that I did not know I'm gonna show you when I open because this is something very very pretty and let me actually maybe put a little bit more light in here there I never own yet canvas that has a glitter in it you see that okay let's find those glitters isn't it gorgeous look at that oh it's so beautiful piece and I thought this is just a paper that covering um, that covers like roll on but then when I unroll this is actually design in here and that's what awesome about so how big this piece let's see I have a measuring tape on the edge of my table see it's a big enough to see even somebody use for something stitching a little bit piece cut it out uh, my teddy bear that I stitched before would fit exactly on this corner so for a little tiny picture you still can use it and put on a little frame and this chunk still left good enough chunk um, and this one let me sh show you what I have in full size left it's a 
32 centimeters and if I and 38 and a half like this way so that's a big chunk of uh, fabric Ada still left and it's a 14 count but look at this one design it says uh, love loves promise share dreams embrace hope and last forever and in here show you that you can put uh, your name date and here is the fonts for you to figure out if you want it but I really kind of like this design if I can show you close this way maybe there's a dove holding the ribbons so this is like a, a marriage certificate I guess would be right you put your names and date of the wedding uh, correct me if I'm wrong but I I was really surprised to see this kind of uh, pages with the Ada the only thing there's no threads to it so you have to pick your own threads and what this says love's promise uh, what's the company charlie's craft charlie's oh charlie's craft.com if you want to check them out here is the website for this design so this is wonderful i like this one and i'm gonna show you the other one so this one ada with silver glitter and then we have a full roll GMC here we can see like a you know who made all this like it's totally brand new one and it has canvas in gold glitter so this one is gold glitter and what we see in here here's the actually size then you can see right there okay and here is the Ada with the gold glitter see how beautiful sparkle and then I thought maybe they all kind of like an, with the same uh, picture so as soon as I feel the paper in here I thought oh okay something new in here and look at this beauty in here isn't it amazing for only a dollar you have beautiful chunk of canvas and gorgeous dragon for a baby's room there it's beautiful what's called magical dragon uh, make a wish it says in here and it's a princess dragon with the crown Oh, it's so cute it's very cute so I'm really happy with my purchase I was hoping to find some more maybe cross stitching or some threads but this is, was even better because this is absolutely brand new have a pattern inside none touched and that was my shopping a little shopping yesterday too sticky vinyls and two glittery canvas that I never worked before on glittery canvas so this kind of canvas is good when you have a partial stitching for example like I was doing uh, rose or not rose puppies or even this one puppy see if you don't have to stitch all this background that uh, this is partial cross stitching um, but this is the big image but if you have something like a fairy tale like uh, mermaid uh, fairies that's what those images is awesome like this magical dragon to have as a partial image so you can see lots of glitter all the way around the image are we ready to stitch right now <laughs> I talk too much I know let's go stitch let's try this way the image right now will be upside down for me and for you but this way I don't know we will try a little bit which really 
I started kind of from another side but if you flip canvas 180 degree and stitch same way your stitch is going to be still line up in the proper direction I find that it's very comfortable actually and soothing to cross stitch when I camp or when I do this outside the sun is really bright so it's kind of like uh, you have to find uh, that it's a sunny spot but it's a shade a little bit for your eyes otherwise it's just blind and sun is too strong sometimes but I still want to do cross stitching with you up there outdoors so you can listen to some birds chirping so is people <laughs> chirping <laughs> Okay, actually I'm gonna flip this canvas from another side. Let's see if that way will be better though. I'm just gonna try to not to hit camera. I'm gonna roll a little bit this side. Okay. Let's try it this way. Maybe when we facing this is still clear, I don't know. Hopefully not blurry. I just started new thread so it's a long thread usually. I'll get some light more close to me. When you just start thread, sometimes it's attempt to create some knots on the other side if you're not careful. But right now I can reach uh, with my fingers under the canvas to kind of secure and make sure it's not getting tangled. So thank you for answering question about I ask in my one of the video how is shipment going right now from AliExpress and some of you say that some packages coming fast and some of you still waiting since March oh boy that would kill me to wait from March that's pretty long in my opinion that's a little too long so I don't know if I still wanna order right now or not I have to check maybe well even on Amazon I wanted to order some stuff which is not crafty stuff but stuff for the summer for outdoors and it says to me like from now till September are you kidding me September it's for the water stuff okay I don't know let's see what I'm doing I don't need this in September so I'm just like wow that's really bad and that's bad when you have a money sitting and you cannot spend it because well if I would order long ago it would be here already but I just don't want to gamble and wait too long and then packages getting lost people not receiving them at all I'm just gonna wait this ga hassle go away a little bit I guess and enjoy stitching this puppy I really do so okay now the word that I was looking for synthetic threads not natural cotton but a mix with synthetic or totally synthetic I don't know so that's why it's melt so if you see 
um, if you order some threads on Aliexpress and Amazon any other store that it says it's cotton because natural threads of course more expensive than synthetic so if you receive just grab any lighter fire and burn a little tiny piece if it smelt the store fool you and you can fight to refund your money back because obviously if it smelt it's synthetic so that's what I was trying to explain it to you when I was <laughs> showing you the lighter and how it smelt and also you will smell a little bit burned like a plastic so that's the two indicators that it's not a uh, natural threads so if company state it's natural and no synthetic edit test it out and then you will see if this is true or not so that's the tip for my cross stitching lovers for today and I'm sure I'm gonna enjoy with my lighter especially when this threads now I know that this is synthetic threads and it's melt when you burn them so it will be better secure on another side and it looks shiny that's why probably that's why they are uh, shiny because of synthetic in them I'm not sure what's on the website says what kind of threads this is I can't remember there's not much description really with their cross stitching yet I, I try to teach them how to do it but at least they added what kind of Ada in here what size because it was absolutely no description with this one when I received you can watch my unboxing video if you wish and no I did not receive my package yet which I thought I will receive on Monday no it's still in Mississauga so close to my house and so far away when you're waiting so today is another day we hope we will receive today I start to see Papi's face a little bit better. Can't wait to get his eyes. Maybe I should do his eyes next. And uh, and I told you that I will bring you all the time with the new threads. And I think we already stitched with this color that we're doing right now. But I really wanna finish in here and as much as I can reach I think I might will be able to stitch all the way to this corner kind of close to the ring and then uh, go after where is my okay um, go after uh, this green one maybe because we have green on our eyes so obviously green is not going to be green it's going to be some kind of, of the browns and if you are my new subscriber I'm just gonna refresh memory for someone who already forgotten for those who didn't see it that's the colors we have with this image all kind of like a grays brownish and yellow so uh, that's the color we have so there's definitely picture will appear as we stitch because there's no such thing as pink threads or green threads so you cannot see how this is gonna look like till you finish unless you look on your picture that came thumbnail with this
cross stitching. So yeah, I did not fulfill my plan. I knew I did too much for months of June. So I'm not making any plan now for July. I'm just gonna be slowly working on what I started already. And if we see something interesting in my new unboxing that will come soon. Hopefully this week. Oopsie. Then uh, maybe we will pick something new to do. But for now, for now we're gonna stitch what we have. And yeah, I already started a whole bunch of new canvases, so I have lots of work to do. Diamond painting and cross stitching. And talking about cross stitching, my puppy flowers. Um, I did not do my back stitching yet. I just really want to see first how this puppy face gonna look like. At least one puppy. I need to stitch one puppy, then I will be back to my puppy flowers and do a back stitching. I just want you to see how this little cute face will look like when it's stitched so if you wait and for results and see if you like to order or not and I did not have coffee yet oh I'm dying for coffee and some of you same as I like to drink like yes I like to drink hot coffee as well but also when you working on the crafts you're so busy you don't even have a time to sip coffee and your coffee going cold <laughs> and you just ain't going up to warm up coffee because you are busy crafting so we just drink cold after that and I know lots of us doing this because we don't want to get up Sometimes I'm afraid, um, okay, not afraid, I want to say forget, well, very close words, right? <laughs> Sometimes I forget that I didn't eat nothing. That's how crafty I am, that I forget to eat. That's bad. Well, as long as I'm still alive, I'm okay. I love those pokey noises when uh, thread coming out, especially when it's go down. There, <laughs> it's satisfying. My girl like to watch sometimes on YouTube satisfying video when people munch on some foods or crunching ice with their teeth. Oh. I don't watch that. But I like crafty noises. When somebody showcasing beads and all those noises when glass or plastic beads touching each other make those funky noises. When drills showing in a packaging the crinkle of the paper packaging on this plastic all crafty noises attract me yes okay my nails going on away a little bit I need to trim their shorter will be more comfortable to stitch so we have today a little bit shopping haul 
a little bit demonstration, a little bit stitching. I'm waiting for one more store to open. It's a thrift store. I usually up there I can find some good deals on crafty stuff like some stitching or some beads. They have lots of frames for the diamond painting or cross stitching for example to have some empty frames or some frames old picture that you can just throw away the other stuff and keep a frame as a frame and still you know cheaper than you would buy a wooden frame from Michaels that would cost you like from 100 to 200 dollars and more uh, in a thrift store you can buy awesome frame natural wood for cheap sometimes need a little bit refurbished to do you know maybe touch up some paint fresh or stain um, that would to freshen up and you have a beautiful frame for cheap so I always looking for some frames I feel like I might need to readjust a little bit the camera because it's getting close. My frame is laying on the edge of my desk. It's comfortable to stitch when I hold in this ring frame against my body, like on my lap, or if I sit comfortable in the chair, it's almost like I'm holding my uh, belly. <laughs> my chest and stitch but I will show you that in my video maybe when I when I go back to camp and I will do on my reclining chair that is comfy for stitching Hopefully all these lines will wash out after we finish canvas. Like joy joy Sunday canvas is coming out all this paint really nicely. So we hope this one gonna be the same thing and all those lines will dissolve in the water when we wash. checking right now if I didn't create any knot up there. Nope. Feels smoothly. I'm holding my hand like right in here so when I stitch thread would coming out from here so I feel it with my tip of my fingers from under the knees like right in here where I'm stitching so I'm kind of holding my threads um, right, right now right there so it doesn't tangle important not to tangle because later the knot will untangle and will threads will come out from here and be loose
hope this is good enough for you to watch. I'm kind of holding camera this time on the side of me. Very not comfortable position. <laughs> I'm sitting kind of sideways. It's a tricky to record cross stitching. Diamond painting much easier, I have to admit. And then because I'm holding the canvas in my in my hands, also kind of like it's canvas moving and I have to peek all the time on my camera to see if I'm still in frame or not. So this is 11 count Ada and that's why it's very easy to work on because right now I'm working without any my magnifying light like right on the top of there just for the light for you but I'm not using a glass to see through just like sitting next to it so with this one it's good to see I suggested to fan cell to bring more canvases with 14 count Ada because 14 I think is the most popular not everybody like to have 11 because the picture much bigger and in some designs it's gonna be huge canvas which when you stitch on 14 count that will be kind of like maybe sometimes better don't see too many I check website the other day they have few more canvases in cross stitching at fansell.com uh, not too many yet I'm really really hope that they will bring like a big assortment to choose from but they have like a season trees if you like um, you know those four trees of four seasons that we have seen all over as a diamond painting they have that in the cross stitching so that's interesting would love to see more maybe like beautiful flowers or beautiful um, beautiful sceneries like I don't know oceans gardens like something I don't know what's what's your let let's let's talk about or should make a poll or something if cross stitching what designs do you prefer more and maybe I can suggest that to them the store to bring this kind of canvases if it's possible what kind of designs you like to cross stitch tell me I like flowers a lot but also I wouldn't mind if it's something that has lots of colors which is more difficult to do multicolors um, and kind of pixelated but that's where you get lots of details okay now I'm thinking I stop in here where is it easy to go this way I will slowly go from here to here and then I will start kind of this way but I have to get to this side so I'm gonna do go under and find the okay go under so my first stitch have to go this way so I'm gonna go this way and just kind of continue continue this way half of the stitch to get to my right corner so it's more comfortable for me to stitch and then come back and close 
with the other stitch to create full stitch. So I'm slowly moving to my right. because I don't want to have two big lines go on the other side hang and thread it usually I show you before my techniques when I do waving from you know to get to my next point from A to B uh, this way if you stitch in you can just go a half cross to the point where you need it that way you kind of stitch it on a way and don't make those big points from A to B to get where you need and you don't need to cut your thread you just slowly going stitching to the point that you need for this example I need to get to here Always looking for a shortcut. I just love this glittery canvas that I bought in um, what was the store called? Goodwill store. Okay, now I'm just gonna go back and close the stitches to make them full stitch. And slowly we'll go down to create the stitches on the back like for example right now I'm gonna go down one to pick up this part on the way and start go from lower to up up I'm sure you're doing the same thing lots of fun and thank you thank you for those who pull out from deep down from your drawers your cross stitching because you start to watch me cross stitching and got you interesting and you start to stitch again that's make me feel good because I made you cross stitch again I'm gonna make here half and go and close this one on the way And 
and then continue go one more up and then on the way back pick that one that we already created half stitch I hope I don't talk too quiet sometimes I'm, I'm really loud then I realize why I'm so loud my camera picking a good voice good microphone actually yeah that's another beauty about my camera that I was talking to you with my other video that has a good microphone built in and you don't really need extra microphone to create your videos link to the camera under my video in the equipment that I'm using in my video should be there our puppy is coming to life talking about puppy we're gonna take our buddy puppy to the vet today he scratched his outside of the ear I don't know maybe cat accidentally scratch him maybe he scratch so we have to check his ear because it has a little sore up there and he keep scratching and making it worse so we have to give him probably some kind of penicillin or some cream to take care of the little sore up there he created and together because of the virus situation the facility was closed only like emergency allowed so he didn't have yet shots uh, that need to be done for the summer like for the season for ticks and all that um, that usually every year puppy have to have it so we will take care of that today which by the time you're watching this video it will be done he was snuggling on the sofa half an hour ago next to me and put his head on a pillow it was so cute but that was a funny last night I was stitching here's a little cute story for you uh, my cat came and he liked to lay down next to me on the sofa here and that's the spot for body cat usually lay down on the top of the sofa and staring in the window but because it was uh, dark there's nothing to see outside so he lay down on puppy's pod so puppy decided he have enough sleeping on a cold floor which he like cold he came to the sofa and there's a cat up there so he start to nest in himself trying to lay down and step a little bit on cat <laughs> so cat like meow body looking on him and I'm just like quiet you know looking what's gonna happen if cat will run away or what's gonna happen right or dog gonna push him away no, so cat meow and then puppy look, look on him and he lay down so gently to the very edge of the sofa spot that it's his spot but cat took over he lay down curled up on the very edge that just so not to disturb cat and they were sleeping together very cute situation but Cat stopped he still didn't get up and did not move. But Puppy was really gentle and let him sleep on his bed, which so far I just put like extra blanket in here so he know that's his pod. And no, he did not chase the cat away, which was really sweet. They really like each other. They play in lots of fun time. We would just watch how they wrestle. 
and then when cat has enough, he's getting a little bit more aggressive. Smack body in her nose, and they walking away from each other. So what do you think so far? Let me show you. My stitch is a little bit like more close. If I can see it. I don't know why this one kind of like in the middle of nowhere one dark stitch but that's for the pattern. I don't know. Kind of like a that's different colors in a puppy but it starts to look good it starts to look good I hope you cross stitching with me or maybe diamond painting or maybe painting something maybe coloring something you know don't waste your life of doing nothing do something keep your hands busy even if I watch on TV, I can just watch TV. I have to create something. Otherwise, I'm wasting my life by just staring on TV and not doing nothing. We have to multitask ourselves because we are a creative bunch of people. We can't handle not to do nothing. Right? We are team of enthusiastic people we are dreamers we are chasing our dreams we don't give up because we are never old for that to give up we just getting better and better smarter with age okay now we're gonna go here to the top and go down so all those lines that we created we almost finish them by going backwards and that way I don't have a big stretches of threads on the other side and same time you save in your threads this way because you don't have a big threads in another side and I'm always very like economic I, I like to save thread as much as possible I stitched to barely, I have nothing to hold on to. Some people cut long tails of the threads I like to do to the end. My burst feeder, I change water all the time. I wash that always because birds, like right now, dove swimming in and drinking water. I always make sure my birds have water outdoors, and it's just fun to watch them have they bath in, in the water. And of course, at the same time, they making a mess in it. That's why. I have to rinse always and put fresh water for them. When I water my flowers every evening after sunset, my rose is now blooming so beautiful. So I always change water for them as well. Do we have enough of stitching for today? Next time we will stitch I will try to make sure we have eyes for puppy done so we can see his beautiful eyes. So I will thank you so much for staying with me today. 
it's always pleasure to have you here I know we chat to each other we just can hear each other but I know you're here with me and some of you very much appreciate cross stitching videos because you like cross stitching more maybe than diamond painting or maybe you don't do diamond painting at all but if you are a creative person you like any craft please join me on my Facebook group it's Lovecraft Forever and share your projects because some of you are so creative but you don't have a YouTube channel and I would love to see what you're making so join my group and share if you don't have a profile if you don't have a Facebook um, and uh, you can just create even if you don't like a Facebook create page just for the sake to be in a group and share your project you don't have to continue with your private page on Facebook if you don't like that but it's good for creativity to see what other people do and share your own crafty life with us in a group and we will support you we will help you if you need some help so thank you so much for staying with me and I will see you in my next cross stitching video or any video that I create every single day for you as for now and probably will continue if you still like to watch them every day so it's all about you if you watch I will create every day that's why I'm pre-recording right now so when I go camp I know you have a video to watch I love you and I will see you soon